so next up, we have, um, although we're running a little bit ahead of schedule, Matt, so it's not at the time that you posted on Twitter, but Matt Curry is going to join me, the Director of Cloud Engineering at Allstate, to talk a little bit about safety first. <laughs> Did you pick this song? Yeah. How's it going? That's a good song. If you're all wondering what the joke is, um, this is a, oh, you changed it. Sorry. Yeah. We had to change the slide. Last minute change. Apparently um, his uh, comps team did not approve the first one. <laughs> yeah. So I had a picture of uh, my daughter standing next to a giant pile of fireworks and they weren't like so excited about that. Uh, <laughs> Which is fine, because uh, we're all about you know, tight feedback loops and adjusting, <laughs> adjusting on the fly. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about this idea of deploying with safety and the parallel of kind of firing off fireworks, right? So we have a number of uh, occasions throughout the year, depending on the country that you're from, where we enjoy fireworks. And uh, they're beautiful. And if done by professionals, they can be well choreographed, um, and, and they, we all enjoy them, right? And if you uh, watch like YouTube channels, you can also see that they can go terribly wrong. Um, and so it's important that we have the right precautions in place in order to ensure that we enjoy these things with, with safety. Um, and using the structured platform like Cloud Foundry, uh, we at Allstate have created an environment where our developers can move quickly, but they do so with safety. And so when you think about this metaphor of your workload to like different types of fireworks, you have like the sparklers, like I might let my kids play with the sparklers. Then you have like the box you get from Costco, which like my neighbor was really excited about this year. So he's like, and that was actually the picture was the used box with like everything in it. Um, it was bigger than his child. It was taller than her, uh, which is fine. Uh, I mean, and we shoot them off in the street and like that's a little more dangerous. Probably not gonna let the kids like light the fireworks, right? That would be bad uh, and irresponsible. But, uh, and then you have, you know, the crazy, like everybody has the crazy neighbor. Like everybody's got one, right? And, and this is the person that invariably ends up on YouTube. Like, goes to the back of the house and like pulls out this giant pipe and is like, it says mortar shell on it. And you're like, that, that sounds like a weapon, not like, uh, like something to, that I'm gonna enjoy in my backyard. So please like keep that away from my children, my house, like all things. Um, Point it down the street. Yeah. And we all run like workloads like that. Like usually it's like innovation or something to that nature where it's like, we just wanna do the craziest thing you could possibly think of in the name of innovation, and it will be fine. And we have to have uh, these environments that provide safety mechanisms um, to our developers and to our enterprises so that we can be sure like the crazy person doesn't uh, ruin it for everyone. Um, or maybe just a moderately less than sane person. Yeah. With a really great idea that might work and it might not. Might work and might not. But you know, the point kind of being is you know, like the fireworks, the different workloads carry different levels of risk. So if things go wrong, the impact to customers might be different depending on what it is. Um, and so what we've done at Allstate is we've open sourced a piece of software called Deployodactyl, which is really hard to pronounce. Tell me a little bit about that name, because I'm, I'm I keep getting hung up on the name. Yeah, uh, me too. I haven't figured out how to spell it yet, still. I, we've released it like a year ago. Um, but it was about the only thing like we went through about a hundred names with legal and it was just like used, used, like too close to this. And so finally we were like, okay, what are, what is the craziest off the wall name we can possibly come up with to get through approval so that we can open source it? Cause nobody here has ever done that. Never, never. I'm sure. Um, and so, so that, that's the name and Andy is going to be talking about that on Friday. Um, so if you want more detail on how we're kind of, doing this, uh, this safe environment, um, then you can go check out uh, the details of his sessions and he's gonna talk about Diplodactyl. But the, the core thing is there are certain pieces that need to be in place when our developers deploy to enter Enterprise Cloud, right? So for example, we don't want developers making changes in production or anyone making changes in production for that matter uh, without a change record. Like you talk about um, exploding things in the air, uh, 
mixed with alcohol. That sounds bad. Like, who needs gravity? It sounds bad. What could possibly go wrong? What could go wrong? You talk about making changes in production without change control. Also sounds bad. Turns out people do both. So we want to ensure that um, in our environment, we have safeguards to make sure um, that our teams are acting, uh, fulfilling their obligations in terms of what we require of them, uh, whether it be audit compliance, regulatory compliance, having artifact traceability. Um, and so we've used uh, Deploy Adactyl basically as this eventing system that emits events as we deploy to our different Cloud Foundry environments. And what it enables our developers to do is think about, I want to deploy to production, I want to deploy to UAT, I want to deploy to pre-production, and each of those can actually be multiple Cloud Foundry environments. So for example, production runs across multiple regions. We don't really want our developers to have to think about, like, I want to deploy to region A and region B and region C because I need that level of redundancy. We just want them to think about, I want to push to prod. Um, and, en and enable them to uh, deal with that at that level of abstraction. Um, and one of the challenges we had when we first created it is as the platform operators and infrastructure folks, we were like, this is great. People will totally want to use this. And uh, our developers were like, I have like 400 lines of Groovy in like a Gradle script. It's fine. Um, it's totally fine. Totally fine. And we were like, it's not fine to us. Um, and so we had to create an incentive for them to actually use Deploy Dactyl. And so what we did is, uh, using the event system, we were able to basically take the change record and automate that as a part of production deploys so that the developers could just deploy through the CI pipeline and the change record um, is all automatically cut, validated, like all the Cloud Foundry logs from the different environments get sucked into it and we mark the change as successful or an unsuccessful. Um, Magic. And developers were like, wait, if I use this, I don't have to cut change records? As it turns out, they don't really like doing change records. Who knew? Um, and so uh, that's how we got people to start using it. And then we started attaching additional functions onto that. So now we're using it to test things like, did you deploy this into a lower environment before deploying it to prod? Or um, have you had a vulnerability scan? So we're using it to, you know, tying into what Molly just talked about, shift security to the left, and now making sure that those vulnerability scans, like the developers no longer have to worry about going into those tools, configuring them, configuring their access, setting all of that up. Instead, they deploy. And all of that stuff happens, and then they get a nice little message uh, after the deploy that says, hey, We've submitted this workload for a vulnerability scan. Like, if you want to look at the results, then here, here's where you will find them. Um, and it really kind of takes a lot of this toil out of their hands uh, and enables them to move with speed and safety. Safety first. Yeah, so, you know, at Allstate, we protect our customers from life's uncertainties. Uh, the way that we can think about this is we're trying to protect our developers from deployment uncertainties or life's uncertainties. Nice tie-in uh, in with the, the company brand. I like that. Hey, you know, that's what we're here for. <laughs> well, that is so awesome. And so we're going to talk about it later this week to show how to use it. Is it available in open source? It is. Uh, it's on GitHub. Uh, the, we'll post the link. Um, and Andy has a reference to the link in his talk as well. But yes, you can download it um, and play with it. We'd love the feedback. Um, definitely start if you get an opportunity. We love um, to try and get the community more and more engaged with that. We think it's a problem that not just we have, but that others would benefit um, from our solution. So the more that we can share, uh, the better. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Matt, for coming and sharing this with us today. Thanks, Thank Andy. you.